Hello, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, a look at news about programs and services provided by departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. The Kansas City Terminal Advisory Group announced it is considering three options for Kansas City International Airport's future configuration. The first option would be to expand and renovate the existing terminals. The second option would be to renovate the existing terminals and connect them with a central facility. And the third option is to build a new single terminal. The final recommendation to the mayor and the city council is expected the first week of May. The advisory group comprises community members appointed by Mayor Sly James. They have been meeting bi-weekly since July to study airport operations and the potential impact of any change to the airport. The City Council must approve any new plans to KCI and the public must vote on any change that requires issuing bonds to finance the project. Several city employees celebrated Earth Day by joining the KC Trash Bash. The volunteers picked up litter in the Blue Valley and Elmwood neighborhoods and our own Colleen Doctorian was there with them. Hi, I'm Colleen Doctorian with the Kansas City Green Team. Today is Earth Day and our Green Team is out with the residents here in the Blue Valley neighborhood picking up trash. We also have employees and residents picking up trash in the Elmwood neighborhood. Each year, the Kansas City Green Team sponsors an event to celebrate Earth Day. This year, we chose to partner with local neighborhoods to pick up trash to beautify them and make them feel more safe. Year to year, we sponsor different events like rain barrel workshops, building rain gardens, and touring different green facilities. So this year, we're out with the neighbors picking up trash and to make the city more beautiful. Residents are also encouraged to send us their own pictures for their litter cleanups in their neighborhoods at hashtag Casey Trash Bash or post them to our Facebook page. If you missed this year's Trash Bash, we always have lots of activities sponsored by the Casey Green Team and our partner, Bridging the Gap. Check our Facebook page or our website at kcmo.gov. Thursday, April 24th was Take Your Daughters and Sons to Work Day. As part of it, we're turning over the newsroom to the kids. Hello, welcome to Channel 2 Kids News. I'm Ian Hildebrand. And I'm Mackenzie Kogan. On today's show, we have highlights from the city's annual Take Your Child to Work Day program. Our field reporters Mason and Austin are standing by in City Hall to talk to the mayor himself, Mayor Sly James. And we'll also have a report from Anna at the Kansas City Zoo about spring happenings. You know there are a lot of cute babies at the zoo. But first, Mayor Sly James took some time today to talk to the kids about Take Your Child to Work Day. We're here at City Hall on Take Your Child to Work Day, and the mayor has just given a speech to all the kids in attendance. That's a great speech, wasn't it, Mason? Yes, it was, Austin. You know what? There's 37 million of you out today. 37 million kids in about 3.5 million different places. All of you hanging out with your parents. Any day that you get to hang out with your parents in their place of employment is good because they get to come hang out with you at school sometimes, right? Everybody having a good time? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. All right, a couple of things I want you to do for me if you would, okay? First of all, everybody stand on your right foot and pick your left foot up off the ground. All right, now stand on your left foot and pick your right foot up off the ground. Right foot, left foot. Okay, I don't know what we're doing here. We're just having fun. But one thing you can do, though, is read a book today. Okay? Will everybody read a book today for us, please? Why is taking your child of the work day important? Because it helps the, the child and the parent understand what each other's doing. Now that you're here where your dad or your mom works, doesn't it feel a lot different and it a lot more fun to know what she does or he does every day? Yes. So that's why it's important. That way you both know a little bit more about each other than you did before, right? Right. By the way, that's a neat tie. Thank you. Did you tie that yourself? I bought it. You bought it? You bought it tied up already? It was already tied up. You're looking good, man. You know what they say about guys that wear bow ties, right? Yep. We're the coolest ones, right? Yep. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Cheeseburger! <laughs> now back to the studio with Ian and Mackenzie. Thanks, Mason and Austin. Now we have a special report from Anna about what's going on at the zoo. 
Thanks guys. Spring has sprung here in the Kansas City Zoo. And with me is animal curator, Joni Hartman. Well, welcome, Anna. We're happy to have you out at the zoo today. You certainly picked a beautiful spring day. Like you said, spring has sprung, and with spring tends to come lots of babies. We've got some kangaroo joys that you'll see in their mom's pouches. Um, we've got some guinea fowl chicks that have hatched, and then a couple of other things that have been born here at the zoo. And tell us what we're looking at here. This is our Red River Hog exhibit. You can see we've got a family group of Red River Hogs. We've got mom and dad, and then we've got some four of them that were born last year here in this exhibit, so they're yearlings, and then we've got the three little ones that were just born March 24th. Well, I can tell which ones are the babies. They're really cute. But how can you tell a one-year-old hog from the parents? Well, if you look at the size difference, especially the faces, the, the male, the dad, he has kind of the warty growths on his face, kind of looks like a warthog, and he's also got the long hair on his ears, he's got the tufts on his ears, and he's just in general bigger than the others, and the mom is also bigger, so you can kind of tell by looking at the general size of them. They sure do a lot of digging. What are they digging for? In the wild, they would be eating roots and tubers, so that's how they get their food. They dig under the ground and they look for those roots. They might pick up fruit off the ground. Here at the zoo, they don't have to, but that's kind of in their nature, that that's what they do in the wild. You'll also notice we have wraps around the trees. We have wire around the trees. That's because they chew on the bark and they will destroy our trees if we don't protect them from them. Thanks, Joni, for taking your time and showing us these adorable piglets. Oh, you're certainly welcome, Anna. We we're happy to have you out here. If you'd like more information at any time, you can just check out our website at kansascityzoo.org. And now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Anna. That does it for this edition of Channel 2 Kids News. I'm Ann Hildebrand. And I'm Mackenzie Kogan. And we're, we're out of here. here. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. Spring is in full swing and KC Parks has many fun events and activities for you to take full advantage of the season. Foot golf is coming to Swope Park. The Heart of America Golf Course is the first in the area to offer this exciting new sport. Foot golf is a combination of soccer and golf that is played with a regulation number five soccer ball on a shortened golf course with 21 inch diameter cups. The foot golf course opens Saturday, May 3rd. Come out and give it a try. More information is available at caseyparks.org. All aboard on Saturday, May 10th for a National Train Day celebration at the Kansas City Northern Miniature Railroad in Frank Vedic Park. The fun begins at 10 a.m. with live music by Rock and Rob, face painting, free train rides, giant inflatable trains, and more. Visit caseyparks.org for all the details. Buy a 2014 season pass to the Bay Water Park or the Springs Aquatic Center by May 15th and save. Purchase your season pass this spring and you will enjoy all of that water park's amenities for less than a dollar a day this summer. This offer ends before summer begins. Visit caseyparks.org to purchase your pass today. And remember, coming to the Bay Water Park this summer is our new surf simulator, the Bay Rider. Catch a wave and try this new attraction that's becoming all the rage. Ride the Fountains is coming Sunday, June 15th. Be sure to sign up for this annual bicycle tour to make sure you get a pair of commemorative cycling socks. This year's ride around the city's beautiful fountains and historic landmarks begins at 8 a.m. at Union Station. Plan to hang out following the ride for a festive party featuring live music, food, a photo booth, and more. Register now at ridethefountains.com. To learn about other parks and recreation events, visit the department's website at caseyparks.org or give us a call at 816-513-7500. To make Kansas City a safer and more livable community, the city requires individuals who own vacant property to register that property each year with the city's Neighborhoods and Housing Services Department. Registration is due by May 31st and can be completed for free online at kcmo.gov vacant or by calling 816-513-9010. If a code violation or crime takes place at that property, having it registered helps the city resolve the issue faster. 
The city's Rebuild KC Neighborhood Mini Grant Program is awarding grants of up to $3,500 to registered neighborhoods whose projects foster partnerships and build upon existing assets. Successful grant applicants will be required to provide a dollar-for-dollar -dollar matching contribution of volunteer labor, donated materials, and in-kind services. For more information or to apply, visit kcmo.gov and search for Rebuild. For more information about any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for Weekly Report. That does it for this edition. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.